It's nice to see a reasonable crowd on such an inclement evening as we move into week seven, would you believe, of the decade of anniversaries, remembering the future. Um, I was trying to think of uh, strong women associated with uh, this particular historical campus, and in fact, uh, there is one in particular, um, Mabel McConnell, the mother of Garrett Fitzgerald, who was partly reared in Strandmiller's house um, in the, at the turn of the 20th century, and who was to play a role in the um, Gaelic revival and the 1916 Rising. Uh, and of course, married Desmond Fitzgerald, the Cockney Irish poet, and um, lived on to the 1950s, born a Belfast Presbyterian. And of course, the same house was, of course, the home of uh, one of the uh, I suppose founders of the great shipyard of Harland and Wolf, Walter Wilson as well. So quite a lot of history here uh, in the Victorian mansion just outside. But this evening we turn our attention to the women's movement in Ireland in that decade, roughly 1910 to 1922. Um, our lead speaker this evening um, is Dr. Myrtle Hill. Um, Dr. Hill recently retired from her position as senior lecturer at Queen's University and director of the Center for Women's Studies. She has researched, uh, written, and taught on social, religious, and women's history. Uh, her books include Women in Ireland, A Century of Change, published in 2003, which is a major book on the women's movement in Ireland, Women of Ireland, Image and Experience, and Evangelical Protestantism in Ulster, 1740 to 1900. Her recent publications include Conflicting Rights, the struggle for female citizenship in Northern Ireland in a recent uh, book of essays. So can I ask you to welcome Dr. Myrtle Hill. 